today's topic uh, is uh, credit cards. And a lot of times when um, you're just starting off and trying to get your money right, um, you, you run into situations where you don't have enough cash and uh, you still need things. And uh, that's when people uh, tend to use credit cards. Now, when you're just starting up off uh, building your credit, um, you might not be able to uh, get uh, a credit card with a. You may be, you may not be able to get approved for much or approved at all, and if you do get approved, you might be uh, limited in your like you know limits like two hundred dollars, three, four hundred dollars, and it'll take time to to build up. You know your your. It's hard to. Uh, raise your limits up so <clears throat> and uh, you can uh, it'll just take time of you know you using the card and making payments in a timely fashion but um, there's a quicker way to do it so uh, that's by using secured credit cards and a secured credit card uh, what they allow you to do is uh, kind of set your own limits by depositing uh, uh, by holding a deposit of yours um, as collateral. So it's secured by the money that you give them. So say it's your first credit card and your your, your credit score is not that great, but you want uh, you know a credit card with a higher limit than $200. Let's say you saved up $1,500. What you can do is you can... And let's go over here. Uh, yeah, these are secured credit cards. What you can do is you can send them $1,500 and your credit card limit will be $1,500 instead of 200 So let's take a look at um, this. Let's, let's, these are all cards or secured cards that you could apply for. And I just found these. You can just type in best secured cards and go to any link. Um, but let's look at Capital One. I think, uh, you know, when I was rebuilding my credit, I believed, I believe I used this one. So um, you can, I guess they have a $49.99 or $200 like starting um, uh, point, but so you can do as little as $49. Um, and most of these, the minimum deposits are $200. Uh, yeah, 200. Um, but anyway, say you, you, you have $1,500. Um, you send it to them. So you would have this card. You don't even have to have a credit score to apply you have this card with a $1,500 limit and uh, no annual fee and I try not to um, ever uh, get cards that have an annual fee like $39 30. you're just paying to have the credit card on a yearly basis and I, and I don't like that because they're cards that you can not pay anything to have so what you do, you, you put whatever amount that you want your limit to be, you, you send it to them, and you have that credit card, and you you use it, and you pay them back in a timely fashion, and after a while, you can start applying for regular credit cards that are not secured. So you don't have to send them any money, and they'll still give you good limits, you know, for your... um your credit cards and then once you you know have those then you close you close this one and get your fifteen hundred dollars back and you know i think what i did i think i started with maybe 200 and you know every month or two i, I would add to it so my it looked like my credit line or limit was increasing or it was increasing every month but it was just increasing because i was putting the money down to make it increase so, <clears throat> so 
that secured credit cards. And, you know, in most credit card interest rates are pretty high. And that's why you have to be careful with credit cards and and going up to your limits. Like you see, all of them are 21, 29, 14, 24. So um, a lot of people, once they have credit cards um, and they pay the, the, the minimum balance, usually the minimum balance is not is, is lower than whatever interest rates you're going to be charged. So, like, if you pay the minimum, only the minimum ba- balance on a big balance, or anything like over, I don't know, five, six hundred dollars, it'll take years for you to pay that off, if at all. So you don't, you you know, when you do charge, you want to pay. You typically you want to pay it off as soon as you can. Um, now, I mean, well, if. Usually, if you have to use a credit card or if, if you're in a position that where you have to use a credit card and because you don't have enough cash, then just try to pay it off by the end of the month um, so that you don't pay interest. If you have to let it go and you have to pay the minimum for a little while, just realize you're losing money but and you're getting charged to, to, to you know use the money that you borrowed a lot, but try to pay it off as soon as possible. Because that's where most people get into trouble by never like thinking it's like free money and they don't have to pay it back or they can miss a bill and everything will be all right. Um, You can miss a payment, uh, but it'll reflect on your credit, which will then have a negative effect on everything or a lot of other things you're trying to do in life. So once you get past the secured um, credit card point, um, you can look at. Uh, just different regular cards, and usually, usually, um, the same company that you have a, a secure credit card, they'll you know give you um after a certain amount of time of your your t- on time payments, they'll offer you an unsecured credit card, and then um, when you do that, and and <clears throat> when you get that, you can apply for it. Now, now be careful about applying for credit cards, like you know, uh, often, because every time you apply for a credit card, every, every time every time you apply for a credit card, um, you um, the company, the credit card company, runs your credit, and every time they run your credit, your FICO score goes down two to three points, and so. You can't just keep applying in short uh, you know, amount of time. Like you don't want to apply to five credit cards, five different credit cards, on the same day or the same night, because you're just gonna make your credit score go down for a while. Um. So be careful about doing that. You also can do like um, you get sometimes you get uh, uh advertisements in the mail that say you're pre-approved or whatever it, there are some credit cards that you can get a um, a, a pre-approved for with a soft uh, credit pool which they look at your credit but they don't actually run it and they'll determine whether or not you'll be approved for the card and how much uh, your limit would be and if you accept then they run your credit but in general you want to you know just be careful uh, about applying for a lot of credit cards at once. So, you know, once you can get a regular credit card, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of options available. And what you want to do, are first, the the you don't want with an annual fee. Now you you also have credit cards that have rewards. Like say you fly a lot. Some credit cards want when you spend money, they'll give you miles, free miles, or they'll give you cash back. So, you know, for for this one, that's two miles every dollar you spend, or five miles for every every dollar you spend on hotels and car rentals. So, when you book and you use this credit card, you'll get miles that you can redeem to you know take flights with. 
or if it's cash back, like right now, you know, when whenever I use my credit card, and I, and, and actually I um, I used to only use my credit cards for emergency purposes, but now I'm starting to realize that I'm leaving a lot of money on the table if I have a if I have credit cards with with cash back rewards, because. Basically, if I'm gonna spend money, let's say I'm, a, I'm, I have to pay a bill every month that's five hundred dollars every month. So I have to, if I pay that out of my bank account, that's just five hundred dollars, gone. Um, but if I charge that, then I'll get like like one point five percent cash back on every purchase. So I don't know one point five percent of five hundred is, but let's just say it's it's uh five dollars or seven dollars or something like that i don't know but every time i spend money i'll i'll get five five dollars in rewards so that way so if i'm spending money anyway i might as well get the five dollars the only thing is I, i you have to pay it back you have to pay the 500 that you charge and me you, I'll have the money anyway because I'm going to have to pay the bill. So I'll just pay it with the credit card and immediately pay that $500 credit card bill off as soon as it appears because I have the $500 sitting there. I just made the extra money. So that adds up the more money you spend. So I kind of right now, I put as many bills as possible on credit cards to have re- that ca- they have cash back rewards or mileage rewards on them so that i just make extra money or when i go to amazon and i need something i can use the rewards points instead of actually spending any money and those and you don't have to buy things with that uh the the cash rewards you could just have it deposited in your account you could pay your credit card bill with it or you can have them mail you a check so so right now that's what i'm doing with credit cards um um and i <clears throat> the closer you spin and and the, the closer you get to your limit the worse that looks in your credit um so you don't want to so, so if your limit is a thousand dollars you don't want to charge up to 950 dollars if you can help it um and what happened used to happen uh when i was younger and i used to do that um, what they would do is I go right up to the limit and they would increase the limit. So they would say, Hey, congratulations. Um, uh, your new limit is $2,000. And in my head, I'm at, I'm at $999 and my limit is a thousand. And when they tell me that my new limit is 2000 in my head, I immediately thought I had an extra thousand dollars and I went to charge it. And so, and that's the wrong thing to do. Um, There are um, instances where, like, uh, a lot of times when you're trying to get a loan, they're looking at your debt-to-income ratio. Like, well, this is your, uh, not debt-to-income, but your, like, how much of your limit uh, is spent. So say you did charge one up to the limit if you got it uh, and it was a thousand dollars and you were at a thousand dollars so it's like you're at a hundred percent of your limit if you got another thousand dollar credit card right then that was um free and you hadn't charged anything on it then your total limits would be two thousand dollars and that thousand would turn into fifty percent of your total limit so Sometimes you can get you you can get extra cars to get around um, the fact that you're at the limit with one of them, but you know in general you just don't want to you don't want to do that unless you have to. And if you have to, one way to get around like having a hundred percent use rate use uh, ratio is to get more c- uh, credit cards that you don't spend money on, um, but still pay it off because you know it's no use of. Pay- paying uh the banks uh for you to borrow money 
if you don't have to. All right, so that is it on credit cards right now.